big old truck and I'm going back home and I'm feeling lucky. Head. South to Watford, South to Watford. Turning down the motorway and heading south with a heavy, heavy eyes and a dry dirt mouth. Going South to Watford, South to Watford. Motorway's coming like a video game at a hundred miles an hour. The old truck groans and the wheels complain, but I can't go any slow. Have you ever felt unexciting, bored with yourself, not a very interesting person? Of course you have, but you don't have to. You can change, become someone else, assume a new personality, get into role playing. A lot of people do these days, and despite the fact that we on South of Watford are all terribly exciting people already, we thought we'd take a look. J.R. Tolkien's to blame, really. So many people enjoyed Lord of the Rings with its mythical world of heroes and wizards that they wanted to live there too. So, the game makers obliged. You can play Rune Quest, in which you have to fight some dwarfs and trolls in the magical land of Glorantha, or you could play Chivalry and Sorcery, in which you have to, well, do much the same thing. And then there's a uh, Stormbringer and Powers and Perils and Lands of Adventures. You get the idea. And this is Dungeons and Dragons. In it, you join a group of adventurers exploring a monster-filled dungeon. It's the world's number one fantasy game, and they're going to sell 40,000 this year in the UK alone. But why? When you open it, it doesn't look like an ordinary game at all. There's no board, there's no little plastic counters or hotels. Just some funny-shaped dice and a book of rules. So what's the fascination? Well, the main fascination about these, forget about all usual games like Monopoly and all that junk. You, know, you can throw away your board, throw away your hotels, throw away everything that you really know beforehand because we're not having a, a competitive game because most games are like pretty predictable. You march around a board and you know much of what's going to go on. Here, you are totally involved in your world of monsters and magic. You've got to imagine yourself in a world of monsters and magic. What kind of character do you want to be? Do you want to be a, a hero? Do you want to be a fighting man? Do you want to be a magic user? Do you want to be a cleric? You can be any of these things depending on certain abilities like strength, intelligence, constitution, dexterity, wisdom. So you build up this alter ego that's going to go on this fantastic journey. For example, you know, you're walking down this dungeon corridor. Suddenly you come across a doorway and it's got a keep out sign written in blood in it and you can hear scratching and sniffing sounds coming from the other side of the door. And there's a troll walking down the corridor towards you. What are you going to do, you know? It does sound extremely complicated. Uh... Yeah. Well, it is, actually, if you're coming to it cold. I mean, look at the size of the rule book. I mean, there are literally things, but most of it's reference material. But it needs someone who actually knows what they're doing. So the best thing you can do, really, is just to have a game. That's the best way to understand it. All right, lads. Well, I'm game for a dungeon. What do we do first? Well, first thing we've got to do is get ourselves a character. Now, I'm big and dumb in, the, in my game, so this is me, the big... because I like to kick open doors and smash everything inside. That's, that's your character, that's isn't me, it? Yeah, that's me, <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, perfect likeness. What, what's the name of it? His name's Anvar the Face Splitter. The Face Splitter? Yeah. Right, mm. fine. And what, what are you? Well, I like, I like to use a magic user. Magic users have to use more intelligence than fighters. But they can't split so many they faces. Split, okay. But they, yeah. Right, so you're... Use magic spells. You're so a this wizard. Is son of Crew, the wizard. He's got a long history, Son of Crew. Well, I'm uh, small, bearded, uh, clever, TV presenter. What does that suggest? Well, that sounds a bit like a, a dwarf, but in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, only females have got short beards. You see, all the all the male have got, got long big beards. long things down. There. All right. Well, so so female dwarfs have short beards. This I'll be a you. woman dwarf. Female right dwarf. Right on. Okay. Okay. I'll be a female dwarf. Let's start. Now, before we can do that, the first thing we need is a dungeon master. There's more to Dungeons and Dragons than just getting out the box. It takes hours and hours of preparation by the person who's running it. Albie, I believe I'm uh, in the presence of a Dungeon Master here. Could you uh, tell me what your rank means? Well, in terms of the game, it means that when we play in my dungeon, I run the game. Um, I control all the characters that the players aren't playing. I set up the whole adventure. I plan out the rooms of the dungeon that they're exploring, I note down what's in them, and anything that isn't one of the player's characters, I control. So with Ian's yeah, mates playing the other adventurers, the yeah, game commenced. Got our own abilities. Yeah. Mine's usually, you know, brute force and ignorance. 
this is good against all the undead monsters and their Steve with his uh, magic use of spells. Yeah, and mine's just general dwarf Sorry. power. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you're a fighter. Yeah. Right. I'm a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's right. Right. Okay, so it's up to you to tell me what you're doing. There's a door at the end. Yeah. So we've got to decide what we're to do. You see, we're playing yeah. roles. We've got yeah. to decide. You've got to imagine yourself in the, the so shoes of your character. And things. Right. If you want, you can go to the door. Go try for the door, because yeah. it looks pretty boring up this corridor. Yeah. So I'm going to be an old female dwarf, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. We'll be right so behind well, you. Well, I think yeah. we'll be so back we'll in here. No, but I'll go through the door, all right? Okay. So then. Okay, well, you get to the door, you've got to open it. No, there you go. We don't know. You have to. No, no, don't do that. You've gone in. I've gone in. Do you want to do a shut? The door no, slammed. No, because no, you. you told me I could sense a trap if I if I was a dwarf. Yeah. So I thought I was. Yeah, you can there sense isn't a trap. You're stuck in the room. But you've just stepped into the room. Yeah. yeah, you can sense a trap. All right, <laughs> I, I can sense it. Hang so. on, I'll tell you what happens. This is what oh, you can. This is what you see oh, in the room. We don't see anything. Yes. We We're shouting. Yeah, you all right there? You hear? Do I shout and tell You hear the sounds of fighting, and there are two female dwarves, absolutely identical. Fighting each oh. other. Oh no, which oh. is which? which, is which? which? Oh, I see. And That's across the end of this room is a mirror. So if we have another dwarf, um, imagine they're absolutely they're identical. Absolutely identical. Yeah. And they're in the middle of the room fighting here, mm -hmm. and there's a mirror across there. Yeah, okay. I try to detect to see if one of the characters is evil and the other one is good. Since I know this. You know me to be good. So he cast, he cast his detect spell. What are you doing? Watching the rear. Yeah. Well, not You're sure watching the <laughs> You've got a nice friendly wizard there. Yeah. So. There's just a mirror. I, I know. A mirror. A mirror. Oh, no. I'm not allowed to say. You can do, your, you do whatever you are can doing. Can I shout and tell them what's happened? Yeah. Yeah, well, we can see what's happened. What well, you can't. My reflection has jumped out of the mirror and is attacking me. Simultaneously, two dwarves say that. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I don't know. Maybe we could, maybe <laughs> come along and have a look. Maybe we should destroy the mirror and maybe we'll destroy yeah. the reflection. How about well, that? Can, I, can, I, can I nick his idea and instead of striking at, at, at my reflection, swing away and strike at the mirror? Well, you can actually reach the mirror. You can run down to the mirror. Are they so both going to do that? I'm going to run. No, because the reflection is acting independently or else it would be just mirror fighting. Yeah. Eight and a Eight. three. Eleven. No, 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 no. No, no, it's no. just it's just eight, but yeah, you smash the mirror. I smash the mirror. And one of the dwarves fades away. Hey. Well, sensing no danger, I'm going to lead the party out. What with all this chat, it's no wonder that exploring a really good dungeon can take months. Some players who've tried Albie's dungeons haven't seen daylight for years. So what was in store for this plucky little dwarf? No, I'm a, a net don't. drops from the ceiling. Mm, yeah. A net? Over you, simultaneously. Well, like a hair net? No, a big heavy uh. rope net. A secret door here opens up. A yeah, secret door. Yeah, secret mm -hmm. door. And there's a lot of little people. And the whole there's about eighteen of these creatures wonder, charging off up the path, sort of dragging this trolley with the door. Eighteen yeah. of them. You've got to catch them. Spell. They're they're already kind of about sort of thirty, forty foot up. Well, uh, I've been captured by these uh, little oiks here and I've just been told I've been shipped off to a mine on another planet to work my life away in misery and unless my friends here can come and rescue me. Apparently this sort of thing's happening all the time in D&D &D and right across the country at the moment there's elves in, in prison, stuffed up chimneys, dwarfs nailed to the floor, all sorts of disasters and all waiting for a rescue. And uh, I've also just been told that this game goes on for years sometimes so I suppose i better just uh, sit back and wait it out. Not really. Right, you so. hear some footsteps coming from this direction. Oh, no, well, we'll yeah, run off down the, the corridor. Yeah, let's go. Help! Uh, sorry, Ben. Bye. Help! Of course, if you get bored with waiting for your mates to come and rescue, you can always play on your own with one of these solo role-playing books. Uh, the pirate draws his cutlass and advances towards you. Turn to page 25 if you want to fight, or page 16 if you want to run away. I think I'll turn to page 16. Yeah. Of course, you don't have to be stuck with sword and sorcery. You can be a gangster, a gunslinger, a samurai warrior, a golden hero, Judge Dredd, or Doctor Who, James Bond, Mr. Spock. <laughs>